Mandy McMullen. You don't have to love me every time. The best part of the show is when I hug you every time. <laughs> okay, uh, so Mandy is having a very hard time getting over her ex-boyfriend, Kevin. Oh, so true. Oh, I love him. That's great. So we set her up on a date. Oh, yeah. With Mark, who's the director next door at the mm -hmm. studio right over there. Mm -hmm. And, um... I'd love to hear how your date went last night with Mark. Well, it was great at first. So I really liked how much Mark reminded me of Kevin. In fact, I think they both were the same, the exact same Axe body spray. And that was a limited edition spring only. So that is, that means something, okay? Um, but you know, we started talking and started talking and I was all like, oh, so what do you think I can do to get Mark to take me back? And he was like, uh, I think that's a weird question. And I was like, uh, I think you're a weird question. So it kind of was downhill from there, you know? I mean, I was like, what should I get Mark for his birthday? I need a guy's opinion. And he was like, oh, you're so self-centered. What? I need a guy's opinion. Oh, so anyway, you know, <laughs> Uh, he really didn't seem to like me taking text messages and writing text messages and asking him what I should write in the text messages to Mark, uh, you know, to Kevin. And finally, when I went to the bathroom to go take a selfie, because Kevin, one of the only things he liked about me was how much I used to photograph myself in the mirror. And when I went to go to the bathroom, you know, not to be rude, I wasn't going to do it right there in the mirror in the lobby. Hello, I'm not a jerk. Um, by the time I got back, he was gone. And I had only been gone like 20 minutes. For the love of God, woman! No man wants to hear about your ex-boyfriend on a date. Well, no, I think if he no. heard about Kevin, he would know him. He would want to know more. And he would love him as much as I do. That's just <laughs> oh obvious. Oh my God. Mandy. I... <laughs> okay! 